Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 with your screen loads in the mad. Hello, the Flossy Sarbages. You think level 23 boxes. Madman Q to this 13 and all around neutral guy. Oh well. I did apparently forget about these guys here. Or is it more about them having forgotten me? Or not having noticed me? Either way, they do stood up. Gorgeous view ahead. Do you mean the plants clipping into the wall or... Hmm. Okay, man. Uh, let's just carry on. I will not be able to buy a new sword until I can get Leningrad's key, I think. And for that I will need to get to this particular path. It's that far. It's at the next bonfire, so, you know. I might be able to handle it well enough, but uh, I wouldn't bet my life on it. Okay, so both of them did weapon spam, so I can easily kill both of them effectively. Easily, effectively it makes a perfect sentence, really. You, sir, are dead. It's in a second, like now. Yeah. Damn it, Chandelier, you spooked me there. Right, I guess I need to break this. Get, a, get some wood bolts. Uh, crossbows actually are aimable in this one. So there is that. So yeah. Bam, bam. Thank you, man. Good to know this weapon does have, like, this option. I think the Sun Sword also has, like, a stabbing motion as the power attack. Which can be really useful. In certain situations, such as when... You are being threatened with death. No one likes being threatened with death. Ooh, fire. Ooh, two enemies. Ooh, I have a sword. Ooh, I missed. Well, stamina reach and bliss. Also, let's use this life gem. It's safer that way. Oh, he usually just falls down. This is a very uh, extraordinary turn of events. Also, that guy's gonna shoot me. It's as if I forgot about him for a second and actually let him shoot me. Instead of just uh, torching when I knew the thing was gonna happen. Oh well, uh, getting close to that wall is fine enough. Seriously. That guy is actually not too bad. That was pretty effective there. What it just did. Well, it's lighter. It's not as good as the Palmer. Is it pronounced Palmer? Probably not. I'm pronoun. I'm, I'm. What? I'm not a pronoun. I'm. Uh, you know. The word I seek, it eludes me completely. The meaning of which is that I really tend to use the wrong words for everything. But the phrase itself wasn't really fond of approaching me. This would give me boys. So yeah, let's do that. We can get some royal guard armor or royal infantry armor instead at some point. But not just yet. Open the door. Perhaps even get on the floor. And summon Jimmy the Dinosaur. I don't know who Jimmy the Dinosaur is. I don't think that is an actual thing. These guys are probably not Jimmy the Dinosaur. Who are you? You are Beva. I don't need to summon you. And you are Siohi. I don't need to summon you either. But what we will do is break down this door. Because it doesn't open from this side. <gasps> no, no, no. You don't go. You don't flee. You will die. See? Excellent. Pick up item. Titanite shard. It's only one shot, but it's a start. Very much is a start. 
Oh, also look at the hand axe. How would the hand axe feel about being my spare weapon? It looks like it doesn't mind. It's a hell of a lot slower there. Which isn't too surprising. It is an axe. Alright, uh... Right, I thought there was an enemy here. I thought correctly. Thank you. And uh, there are no mimics at this play stage of the game, I don't think. Like, the first mimic I met was pretty far. Like, I had already gotten one of the great souls that we seek. I don't think we can jump over there. Or even if we can, there's probably not anything useful there. Here, though, is a divine blessing. Uh, it still qualifies as nothing useful. Hello. That is not the best sales pitch I've ever seen. But it comes pretty close, especially since he has Leningrad's key. Oh, he, she also... she. I need to look into that, you know, the part where I actually remember the correct pronouns. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay, so I just remembered. Uh, I've gone down here before, but I still don't know what's up down there, like, uh, there were some minor enemies, but I didn't actually look into any of the caves for the major threats. I just explored the downstairs ground and got all the loot I was able to access. Also, since then I have learned some tricks so I can access more loot this time. Good to know. There might be an enemy behind me. Yes, there was. It's very kind of the game to have auto-locked me onto him, so it was very unkind of me to accidentally drop the lock. Yeah. And bear in mind, there are also some enemies down there which are not too easy to handle. Yeah. Something to look into, I guess. Or something to just worry about immensely. Oh, you can actually come up here. I still keep s smashing my sword into that thing. Thank you, come again. Something to consider is the fact that there are a lot of enemies down there. Some of which I don't know the proper response to without the equipment I used to have. So I'm just going to casually come here Pick up some stuff. Oh, I want to... S uh, sir, may I ask you a question? I may. Nifty. You? May I ask you a question? Apparently, yes. And you? You too are interested in being asked a question? In that case, you get to be asked a question. You too, are you too also interested in being asked a question? Because I'm not even asking you anymore if you want the question. I'm just gonna lock onto the next guy and kill you instead. Can I kill you with this? No. I'm quite sure shields were able to deal damage in the past. Like when you do that. But apparently that's no longer a thing. Tough enemy ahead. Uh, there is a tough enemy ahead. You might look at that and think, oh yeah, I'm gonna go in for the body stab backstab. Or whatever. That's a really bad idea. Also, I'm not sure which one I should taunt first. Maybe this guy? Oh, this does actually deal a decent amount of damage to him. Uh, and he also deals a decent amount of damage to me, but that's less of a surprise. Look at the size of that gadget. Or mace, or however you wish to call it. Oh. You got lucky. Thanks to the fact that he fell down initially. Uh, the second guy won't be as easy, I don't think. Especially since there are still some 
uh, basic shambler about shambler is about as well. Okay, let's look here for the loot. A full shoulder soldier shield. That is only better for magic defense. Otherwise, it's just worse than Iron Palmer. You don't want to fall over this time, eh? Alright, that's cool by me. Just claw the ground so I can come and ah, shit. Usually he takes quite a while to recover from that. Huh. Apparently not this time. Anyway, blocking him is not worth it, so we're going with the classic approach of uh, two-handing the axe. It's pretty new classic, if I may say so myself, because we just... We only started this game. So anything we do isn't really all that classic. Let's be fair. Alright. You wanna, you wanna go? Huh? Huh? You wanna go, dude? Here we go. I don't know if it's possible to combo... Like, hard hits with this, then? Maybe? Right, how do... So, no. What I thought to be the way was not the way. So, there is actually a way to get up there. This is news to me. Alright, now we need to be very, very careful. There is something down here that will be able to kill us quite swiftly if we give him the chance. Which we shall not provide. We will uh, leave the place. For we have seen enough. We have seen enough. This, this is not where we take our trade. There is absolutely no interest uh, for us to you know, start trading with this place. Instead, we will look into alternative methods, such as uh, using up this life gem, for example, to start off. And then killing these two. Alright, uh, we'll need to get some stamina back then. Ooh. This isn't looking good. Let's be fair. Oh, well, survived. Another left gem, please. Because I know I will get them back, eventually. Maybe this wasn't the best idea. Well, we could have just left, I think. Okay, so there is a way to combo the hard spikes. Good to know. Ah, there we go, a life gem back. And you? Do you have any life gems? I may be interested in some. Nope. Life gems are a pretty common drop, I think. My other character has gone on to become the sort of fortunate adventure, fortunate adventure who already possesses a hundred life gems. Some are not even able to gather that much in a hundred lifetimes. Yeah, that's almost a bun. Almost. I missed. Not the best of plans. Alright, Estus Flask is in question because we're about to return to the bonfire anyway. So, might as well. But then we can try this again. Nope, let's not try that again. You know what? I should not walk that close to you. But this is the plan. Stab. Because we can stab. We are very much proficient in the art of stabbing people. Some would say we are, you know, a step perfect. I can't do that. I was trying to make a joke about being a step professional. Ooh, this guy would kill me there. I don't want that. Unless he summons me, but no, I think uh, it's eyes who summon him. Uh, I don't actually want anything from you. Sorry. Okay, we will return to Majula for a moment. Oh, in this game, it fades to uh, black, the traveling things, instead of just uh, randomly transitioning into whatever we actually want to take a look at, so we can no longer do that stuff that we did before. Ooh, a short bow. I'll take it. Any rest? Ah, oh, yes. Very good. Now I can get to work. But first, let me set up. 
Come again later. Thank you, come again. Okay, uh, let's take a quick rest. Because this qualifies us coming back later. We could look into maybe buying a new shield. You stand back. This is dangerous. Work. Especially if you flap my face with the bloody the name prongs. Is Just a simple blacksmith. And you are uh, uh, another useless traveller. What do you mean another useless traveller? A man ought to labor with his feet planted firmly in the earth. Not roam around like you flirtatious vagabonds. Oh, what does it matter? Go on, show me what you've got. Your equipment. Let me have a look. But do it quick. Uh, with my other character, I actually use that blacksmith hammer that he has. Uh, because it looks like a lot of fun. Ooh, I could use this battle axe. Maybe go strength instead of dexterity. I haven't done a dex strength based build ever. Let's give it a try. It may be fun. Because my other character is actually a faith based build right now. Which is quite fun if I may say so myself. Okay. Would you reinforce my axe if I'm going to be an axe man? Oh, I actually can do like two levels on that. Nice. Oh, see ya. I'll be around if you make it back. Cool. Alright, equipment. Uh, this axe is getting to be my primary axe now. Can I remove that too? Yeah. Okay, and if I then use this other axe as my weapon. I just have two axes. Wait, if I... Can I use two swords? Like, this many weapons? I can. So that's what I'm go currently going with. I don't get as many strikes with this as with a sword, but it deals more damage. And it's... Strength scaling isn't completely shit. So there is something to look forward to in that. Alright, uh, let's just head on down. Oh, and I'm in the way of the blue now, aren't I? I already forgot about that. Oh, this axe is very good for getting opponents who are, you know, playing dead. Stop knocking me back, dude. Yeah, okay, the axe is... Pretty nifty, actually. Execute. But execution didn't work as intended, but you know. It is a start, I suppose. But the start it remains. It's not exactly the sort of uh, revolutionary technique that you would expect. From an axe. Because, you know, axes are revolutionary. Alright, I want the fire here. So I'm going to bring a torch. There will be a dark tunnel there eventually and uh, it's nice to have the flame the flame uh, close by. Yeah. Alrighty then. Geronimo! There's a summon sign here. I guess that's like a good place for it though, because it's close to both the boss options in the area. Yeah. Alright, uh, let's just... Take a small step. I'm going to see if I can taunt some enemies over to me. And to be fair... Nope, nope, that, that jump failed horribly. Is anyone climbing the ladder? Yes, there is. Okay, I'm gonna wait for him here. I'll be nice and prepared for his visit. Do you have an appointment? He must have, because he just died. Yeah. 
I'm happy with the sex. I'm going to get the better axe eventually, but I'm happy with it for now. Whoop. Not part of the plan, I'll admit. Yes, take the dagger out so I can kill you in one hit. Alright, uh... It does mean I don't have to jump onto the platform though. The jumping onto the platform would probably have been... healthier, let's say. Because we wouldn't get... fall damage. Which is what we did get. Yeah, that works pretty effectively. Oh, Tuckan marches everywhere. Oh, <laughs> that's a death, death shot. Nice. Okay, don't stand on the roof because there are still arches everywhere. We need to go into cover and stay safe. Stay safe, Shinjiro. Alright, uh, that would not have been safe to stand on. Let's be fair. Did you push that dude? Uh, let's not go down there. I wonder if it's... If there actually is anything down there? It might be. It's a classic game design technique. To put things down in places where no one would do. Uh, but it would probably need like some sort of slow fall boots or... Slow fall ring, whatever this game had. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh. For fuck's sake, you were immune for the horse. Okay. His immunity has been forgiven.